I'm Jim Johnson. Detroit Rock and Roll, still alive and well. The story still to come on Action News. Joey is one of a million children abused in America each year. As a nation, we are now aware of the problem. The National Committee for the Prevention of Child Abuse has new information on ways we can stop child abuse before it starts. The committee now has chapters all over the country where volunteers work to develop prevention programs. You can help. For information, write Prevent Child Abuse, Box 2866, Chicago, Illinois, 60690. Detroit is well known for its outstanding local musicians. Tonight on Segment 7, our entertainment editor, Jim Johnson, profiles a local rock group that has talent and popularity. These people are lined up, waiting to get in to see one of their favorite rock groups. Not unusual, except for the fact that the people they're waiting to see are not national stars, but a local band called The Look. The band has been together for several years, performing in the Detroit area and at nightclubs around the country. They've also made national tours as an opening act for groups like the Jay Giles Band and the Rockets. Detroit is home for the members of the group, and that's fine with lead singer Dave Edwards. There's a good scene in Detroit, though. I think a lot of people overlook it because they're always waiting for the next English band or Australian band to come around. But when they don't realize that there's talent right here. Being a local band is demanding, a lot of work for little reward at first, so why do it? Music is like a drug to me. I like to see the, the smiles on people's faces when I'm doing it, because they're all looking at me for some kind of um, something, energy. And if I get it back from them and see their smiling faces, it makes me even get stronger and ha have a lot more fun. Like most local bands, when they're in town, the look play one or two night stands in a variety of local clubs. Mrs. Jagger is a popular Waterford night spot, and as you can see, it's packed. It's like this wherever the band plays. The people who come to see them do enjoy it. I've never seen them before. Heard about them on the radio and from friends and things, and I just came up here to see what they were like. They got their own thing. They seem like they're unique in their own way. They're not taken after anybody else. There are two Look albums to date, one simply called The Look, and another called Look Again. A third LP, entitled Everybody's Acting, will be released next month. Out of a large number of talented Detroit area groups, The Look hoped to be the next to become a national force in the music business. Jim Johnson, Channel 7 Action News, reporting. And Jim Johnson is also heard on WRIF Radio. Anybody surprised about talent in Detroit? We've had it here for years. Of course. Motown right on down. Well...